Alright, so once again, Mike Fidel here with another tutorial. I have the iMovie tutorial this time. Um, I'm just going to quickly go over how to create a very short video clip and I will use video, photos, and audio to do so. So here is iMovie. They have since updated it um, just a few days ago. Um, but I'm going to start from scratch. So I'm going to click the plus up here. I want to create a new movie, so I'll select that. They have a whole bunch of different themes. Um, I'm just using video clips of my cousin's wedding, so I'm going to go with something bright. You can see what it looks like by playing it there. Um, but that's that. I'm just going to go ahead and create the movie. Alright, so now up here you have a whole bunch of different little windows here. Top up here is your videos, all videos that are on your iPad. Photos, all photos that are on your iPad. And any audio that's on your iPad. I like to start editing to music. Um, this is just a simple montage. I, I want to make it really quick. So I'm going to look through my playlists and search all the way down for some good old John Legend. Play this song, you can preview it by pressing the play button. Sounds perfect. Now I'm going to press the down arrow and bring the audio into the timeline. So there it is, you can see the wavelengths and everything. What I'm going to do with this first though, I'm going to select it and lower the audio because I want you to be able to hear me while I edit. So I'm going to lower this, again I select it and you get your little bar down here. I'm going to bring it down to about 50% for now. Well, 58 sounds good. Alright, so now we have our audio. That's really as much as you could do with that. You could move it around a bit, but there's not too much editing you could do with the audio. Now I want to bring in a video. So I'm going to select video, look through some of these videos in Hawaii, awesome time. Let's go with this one. I'm going to select this video and then press this down arrow, and that's going to bring it right down there. Now you notice the audio, the song, trimmed to match this. So we used to have a full song and I put a one minute and five second video and now it matched that and that's, that's just something it does. Um, now I'm going to zoom in a lot so you can either pinch it, I'm going to use two fingers and zoom into the video and that's how you do it. So now I want to start trimming this little video. You can play it like this and you can see it up there. That's what the video looks like. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I like it. Now I want to use it but I want to trim some stuff out so I'm going to select it now you got these little yellow bars on the sides of it. It used to be something else in the previous version. But all I do is press and drag up until where I want it to start. Let's start with the ring spinning already, like Inception. All right, also, notice how this video has an audio track. If I select the video and then down here press audio, I can raise, lower the audio if I want. But since I have a song underneath it, I'm gonna cut the audio out completely. Select this, go back to the video. All right, so let's look and see what this video looks like. Wonderful, magical. I like how it stopped there. So now I want to trim the video there. I'm going to press this. And I'm, there's, there's two ways you can do it. With the new one, I'll just show you the easy way. Select the video, press split down here, and you'll see it split the video in half, or in two. And now I, I, I want to get rid of this second video. So what I'm going to do is select it, and there's two ways you could do it. You could either select it, hit the trash button down there, or press, hold, and drag it off, and poof. And again, there goes our song getting even smaller and smaller. 